four kilogram box moving at five meters per second encounters a rough surface. It travels eight meters before coming to rest. So this box here is traveling at a constant five meters per second along this plane, and then it reaches a point where the friction starts to take over. Now, what happens when it uh, reaches that friction? It accelerates. And it accelerates negatively, so it's slowing down until it reaches final velocity of zero. Eight meters it takes to do that. So it looks like kind of like a kinematics equation or a kinematic type of problem. And you can certainly solve it using kinematics, uh, except for the fact that it's going to be difficult to solve for acceleration. We don't know the coefficient of friction, so we can't calculate the frictional force. And without the frictional force, it's going to be tough to calculate acceleration. So, how we solve this is instead by using the work energy theorem. The work energy theorem states that the work done by the force, in this case friction, is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Well, we know what the kinetic energy is when the object starts moving. It's one half mv squared. And then when it gets to the end of its motion, the kinetic energy is zero. So, we can seriously solve for the uh, work done by friction, and then uh, from there go on and solve for the rest of the things. So, how much work is done by friction? So when this object starts to move, it hits this and then it slows down, and all this while friction is doing work on it until it reaches a velocity of zero. The work done by friction according to the kinetic theory, all right, the uh, uh, work energy theorem rather, Work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Well, the change in kinetic energy is the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. Final kinetic energy with a velocity of zero is zero. So that whole thing goes to naught. So the work done by friction actually turns out to be one half mv naught squared. Now, why the negative? The negative is there to indicate that the work was done was negative. That means it took energy away from the box. Friction will always be uh, a force which takes energy away because it will always be the opposite direction of motion. So work in this case equals negative one-half times the mass, four kilograms, times the velocity initial, five meters per second, quantity squared. 5 squared is 25 times 4 is 100 divided by 2. So the work done, negative 50 joules. Next part of the problem says solve for the force of friction. Well, once we have uh, the work done by friction, solving for the force of friction is just straight to the definition of work. The force in this case is the force of friction. How far does the force of friction act over? A distance of eight meters. So work equals the force of friction, which we're asking to solve for. So we'll take a step backwards and say 50 joules is equal to the force of friction, which we're solving for, times the distance over which that force is act, eight meters, times the cosine of theta. Now theta is the angle between the force of friction or the force which is doing the work, and the displacement. Well, the force which is doing the work is acting in this direction. And the displacement vector, or the direction that the object is going, is in that direction. So the angle between these two things, 180 degrees, so negative 50 joules equals 8 times the cosine of 180, which is negative 1, negative f of f times 8 meters, so the force of friction is 2, rather, 6.25 newtons. A positive force, because the direction of acceleration is positive, and it's in the same dire direction. Once we know the force of friction, solving for the coefficient isn't too bad. By definition, the force of friction equals mu times the normal force. We know the force of friction, 6.25 newtons, equals mu, so we ask ourselves what the normal force is. Normal force is in the y direction. Our 
free body diagram indicates that the normal force is counteracted by the force of gravity only. Friction doesn't take part in this calculation since it's in the y direction. Normal force minus mg equals zero. Normal force equals mass times gravity. Mass is four kilograms times gravity. 40 newtons of normal force. Goes right back into our definition of friction that we saw from mu. 6.25 divided by 40. 0 0.16 and no units on the coefficient of friction. So you can see how work energy theorem will help us connect uh, kinetic energy or velocity uh, to forces, which is something that we haven't come across yet.